I'm Wilfried van Kraan, CEO of Materialize. Materialize is active in the field of 3D printing by providing services, but mostly we are known on a global scale for the fact that we are forming the backbone of 3D printing. Our softwares are used by thousands of companies worldwide to run their 3D printing operations. We announced a Matrix 3D print suite. Um, actually, the suite is a better integration of the different software products that we have on offer, that they really start working together even at a, at a more integrated level, making it more convenient for our customers to run large-scale 3D printing operations. We both uh, support the, the process planning, the preparation of the print files, but also the entire logistical chain um, of both the files that are moving through the 3D printing facility, as well as the parts that are moving through the 3D printing facility. Everybody who is, take, who is taking 3D printing serious and has larger volumes, like service bureaus, or like uh, internal service bureaus, but more and more also the companies that are truly transferring some of their production activities to 3D printing or additive manufacturing. There is a build processor for the HP machines, but the, the collaboration has been ongoing already for quite a while. And uh, we are proud that thanks to this collaboration, we can claim that we are very well integrated with our printers. We have uh, supported um, yeah, their file preparation needs uh, during the, the development of those uh, printers. Uh, and yeah, today we are starting to test uh, their printers in our internal service operations. For the first time, we are organizing uh, at, at Rapid a site event that is called Medical Evidence for 3D Printing, because at this moment, medical 3D printing is at the top of the hype cycle. Uh, it means it gets a lot of attention, but we are lacking evidence that is truly accepted by the medical community and by mainly the medical payers that the different applications of, of 3D printing in medical are truly contributing. Um, and that's a matter of gathering that evidence in a systematic and in a scientific way so that we can truly convince the authorities that 3D printing is there to stay in the medical sector. It's a bit logical that there are good barriers uh, because you don't want that people start doing anything with, uh, with the body of patients. But at the same time, um, those barriers um, have resulted in standards, in, in customs, uh, that to some extent need to be broken by the new things, the new opportunities that 3D printing is offering. For instance, much more complicated shapes, for instance, much more patient-specific solutions. And the, the evidence methodologies are not really suited for this. So that's why we, we want to discuss with a group of specialists how we can streamline uh, the operations and how we can convince authorities to accept other kinds of evidence to justify the 3D printing in hospitals and in medical devices.